There's some sort of squeaking going on on the front left, and it seems related to the, the tire, the wheel spinning, but I'm not sure what since we replaced everything there. So unless like the dust shield is hitting against the rotor or the wheel, I don't know. All right, in this video, I wanna take care of the speedometer noise that this I'm experiencing. Now I have the dash and the gauge is all apart. Don't mind that. Uh, you don't need to do this to get to the speedometer cable. Uh, basically the back of the gauge just has a little hook that you can press and pull the cable out. This is your speedometer cable here. Um, well, this is the shielding for it, but the cable is actually inside of it. Now, if your speedometer is jumping, this fix probably won't work. But if your speedometer cable is working properly, it's just making a loud noise, a click noise that gets worse the faster you go. This is the fix. So we got to disconnect it from the gauge. We also have to disconnect it from the transmission side. And we need to pull the cable out. We have to lube it up. It's dry. It's probably rubbing against the shielding. And it's just, it's not working. So let's go underneath and disconnect it from the transmission. Okay, so underneath the truck, Way back there, you can see the speedometer cable plugs in. Now, directly above me, this cable that comes from the firewall straight down comes to this. This is like a extender, it looks like. So, can I just loosen this and pull it out? As you see, no tools necessary. And... We do, in fact, have the cable right here. We are unplugged. Okay. Well, let's spin this with my drill. Let's make sure it's this cable and not this section that connects to the transmission. That's bad. I, I thought it was one piece. Didn't know that. Hmm. Well, I ended up taking off the extension piece um, since it's very easy to remove. Um, but yeah, so we'll lube this cable up, and then I started pushing the other end through. So now I'm just gonna try to grip it and pull it out. Don't know if this will work, or if I'll even be able to get it back, <laughs> back in that way. So we'll pull it out. It, this may or may not work, putting it back in. I can see like a, a rough spot there. Yeah, so this, this may or may not work putting it in this way, but if we have to pull it apart, no big deal. It's it's not that bad. All right, so just taking a little bit of grease. This is just bearing grease, really. And just a little, and then I'm gonna rub it along the table. Maybe the short one would have been better to start with, so I get a better idea what I'm doing, but here's the idea. It's, you don't wanna overdo it, because then you can run into other problems. Just a little bit, lube it up, and then we'll throw it right back into its shielding. And the same with this one. So first we gotta pull it out. So you push it in to expose it on the other end. And then on this end, you can give it a tug. Here we go. So same thing, and important to make sure it's not fraying or anything, this actually looks good. Um, besides bearing grease, you can use transmission fluid, automatic transmission fluid. And then to show it going back in, we're just going to slip it right back into place. To get the end out of this side. There we go. And that is done. Now I can clean my hands. Now putting it in this way is going to be a little trickier as I said because it is at an angle bending so you just kind of gotta work it in slowly and we'll see. We'll see if this is even possible going in this way. It did go in all the way, and I didn't have to remove the cable and bolt the shielding or anything like that. Pop the hood just to 
pull this down. This is where the cable comes from the firewall and it shoots straight down into a bracket. Uh, it was tightening up around that bracket so just gave it a little tug this way and that freed it up. Made it a little straighter of an arrow shot in. Now let's go underneath and put the extender back on. All right, all hooked back in. Extender to the uh, speed, speed sensor here. Um, as you see, we are leaking some transmission fluid pretty good. Um, so it possibly leak. No, this seal looks new. I, I wouldn't condemn this seal yet, but we're definitely leaking out of this speedometer sensor spot. Uh, and then probably other places as well. So I think that's going to be something I want to do in the future. Uh, replace the seal back here and maybe clean up the other spots that it's leaking from because I don't want a leaky transmission at least not when this truck works so good already and I clean this up and I can see it's wet here on the edge so this pinion seal is leaking and you can see the evidence of it just sp spilling all over the place uh, I guess I'll add that to the list of things to eventually do all right the cable is all lubed up let's put this back together go for a drive all right here we are cruising and no speedometer cable noise anymore issue is fixed thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one